Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to Recipe of the Day. We are here. This is episode number 97. We are on Countdown to 100. And you can see my special guest today is my sister is here today visiting from Texas. So I have my assistant chef here today. And we have a couple yummy things on deck for you today. We're going to be making a yummy twist on sugar cookies. We're going to be making a peppermint sugar cookie today. And also we're going to be making an easy, quick and easy appetizer, crab cakes. And we will make them, I think, little so that you um, can have them as appetizer size. So that's what we are going to embark on today. So thank you for visiting. Give us some likes and some comments. Um, I need the, my, the computer over here. I don't hear the iPad. Uh, so we will see your comments here in a second. <laughs> but thanks for being on, and uh, we're gonna get started here. You get started. I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna get started here. My Instagrammers, I've got a mixer here that is a little bit out of your range, um, but I'm gonna put two because, of course, the best cookie recipes start with two sticks of butter. I'm gonna unroll, roll that, and we will get these in here. And I'm gonna start with some. These are a classic sugar cookie made with powdered sh uh, sugar. So I will get these starts started, pinch those. And I'm gonna start here with the butter. Hold on a second, get my thing here. I'm not sure if I can read it. Okay, so I've got two sticks of, but of butter here, three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar going in, and we're gonna start mixing that and let that get started. My Instagrammers, thank you to my magic hands. And I will get us up here with my butter fingers, literally. I have butter fingers go, go in there. Okay, so we're gonna cream together this, and while that is going, I know it's a little loud here, um, I am going to separate my eggs, because this recipe calls for separating the eggs, whites, and the yolks. So I will do that, and try to do that gracefully on camera. I thought I would let you guys watch me and see if the pressure makes that work out. <laughs> so we will see. Yeah, go ahead. Here's the bowl. Okay. I need a... Uh, okay, I'm gonna separate those. I could try to do it slick. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> now you can show me. I think it was a champagne. How you do it through your fingers. <laughs> whoops. Now you can take that. That was egg. a nice crack, dude. <laughs> All right, because I need, okay. I need, um, That's okay. I need this one. I need two whites. I got a spare. So, uh, I need, All right. try that again. I need two whites and one yolk. Let's see you do that again. <laughs> okay, I want to do it cute. Can I, no, just separate. What's going in there? Next. These aren't, this isn't cream yet. Okay, well, can you use that? Well, I'm going to separate it into two bowls. Okay. So now she's going to use the egg <laughs> shell to separate them <laughs> the right way. Okay. Let's see. That's the champagne. Okay. There we go. Right. And how do you separate your eggs? <laughs> Not one-handed, apparently. I'm trying to see it. Okay, so in here I've got our butter and our sh our sugar pretty well mixed here, and then we're gonna add the yolk, uh, just one. So I'm gonna gently get one yolk, hopefully one, in there. Yep, there we go. Boom, one yolk in, and mix that in. How is everyone today? Whatever you need to charge the comments. Oh my, Destiny. Lisa, Lisa's cutting out on the bike. Okay. Yes, right. my sister is back. Hey, Kathy, John, Laura, how are you? Good to see you guys for the second time today. Jill, I know. How about that? <laughs> Changed my costume. We match. How about how do you like that, Jill? <laughs> okay. Let me get this mixed up here. I, like I, I want to try not. You know, Jill, because I got a lot of ingredients here. So she's gonna get started on her crab cakes too. So here's your bowl. I'll take my egg whites back. And you can get started. I need to scrape down my bowl. And how are all you guys on this yeah. beautiful Saturday? It's gorgeous here in paradise. So beautiful. So we thought crab cake just because as people are going to be home some more, it turns out here. And I always like an appetizer when I go to the restaurant. And I don't get to have them much because my um, husband is allergic to shellfish. <laughs> so when I come here, I eat things that I can't eat at home. Rolling. Oh, okay. So I'm just um, making some 
breadcrumbs. Add us a little uh, crostini thing. Or we'll put it in the craft. Put it, put it on the craft. So I'm gonna get make sure my yolk is fully incorporated. Hey Kathy, how are you? Long time no see. <laughs> hey Tina. Sorry we missed you this this morning. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, away. Move the things out of the way here. You're going to start with your bowl. I'll move the mixer back. Okay. So what are you putting in there first? She's got a first pound one. of fresh crab meat from crab meat. Um, it's delicious. From Costco. So it's a little hard to find, but beautiful lump crab meat going in first. They didn't have it at the Costco in Oxnard, so I said you're going to have to think something else besides crab cakes. I was like, well, no. She stopped at the, <laughs> at, the, at the Costco in Woodland Hills. Um, on her way in yesterday from the airport and they had it so we're good there you go so and i'm going to put um a quarter cup of shallots which is the same as four tablespoons of uh shallots into my mixture and then i have crab meat looks beautiful two tablespoons of cream cheese going in i kind of made up a recipe from a couple different crab cake recipes that all looked good so it's my it's a my own interpretation. Uh, lemon, just zest of one lemon, which I zested already. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then, where's my lemon juice? I already squeezed the lemon, voila. And then we have some cloves of garlic. Going in. These are going to be the best crab cakes. Delicious, so yummy crab cakes. It's something like I never did. <laughs> How many of you love crab cakes? Yum. Yum. I mean, I especially like things that a restaurant makes because I cook so much. But um, okay, so then we have two eggs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have Hello, our magic egg. hands here. Hello, eggs. <laughs> giving us director's notes here. Okay, then we have. One. One egg. Crack it over. What are your favorite family Three. traditions at Christmas? I love hearing people's family traditions. And then we have so a tell us. cup of chopped parsley. Boom. And then I decided to make these gluten free, so I'm going to put just a couple tablespoons of almond flour in here. Although they're not really going to be gluten free because I just made both bread. Oh well. It was a, it was a fleeting shot. Uh, I'm not really a good measurer. And so I'm going to put in about a teaspoon-ish of Grey Poupon in there. And then a splash, at least the amounts will be about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. And some paprika. So it's still here. Yep, yeah, I have it. Okay. I'll open um, it up. Garlic powder was just a quarter teaspoon. That's just like a shake. Nice, maybe not. It, there you go. There you go. Paprika, just a splash. Yeah, just a splash. Okay. Splash of uh, Tabasco to give them a little spice. And then uh, salt and pepper. And that's it. And we too can have a restaurant type. And then we're going to watch our make one. Let's see how they stick <laughs> together. Hopefully they don't. <laughs> Hopefully they do stick. Could you check the oil together? Yes, it's getting nice and warm okay. back here before we start yes. smoking behind us. Yes, we are like on my on my what on my first on my rookie voyage on Lisa's show. <laughs> where she, she dumped the funnel cakes on the counter and I never knew it till I watched the rerun. <laughs> hey Nancy, how are you? Oh my gosh, Nancy, I just hats off to you, girl. What a week, huh? I just, uh, you know, can't believe she moved. My friend Nancy moved her dad from Virginia to Denver in an RV last week through a snowstorm. Just unbelievable. So hats off to you, girl. Wow. You, you win the prize on Daughter of the Year for last week. So all our best to, to you. 
Well, you were daughter of the year last week. You went and saw our dad. But I didn't live in an RV. <laughs> through a snowstorm. <laughs> so, no, she wins. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so Kathy says that uh, they eat sushi on Christmas Eve and go to the movies this year. So it looks like you're going to be having a home movie this year. Oh, my goodness. Craziness. Okay. Those smell, these smell delicious, by the way. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's got all those things mixing together. Right. Show, show them how pretty that, that, that is with your colors. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of green and the, green and the, the crab. Cream cheese. And this in. real crab is just delicious. This looks amazing. Totally. I'll put I a little guess more. Does this go in there? It, it, it can all go in, I think. The zest? I'm putting the, the zest. More zest. More parsley in. A little more parsley. A little zest. Going in there. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, all delish. Right. So shall I... Yeah, okay. blue crab cakes. I think that's what this was, blue crab, the fresh crab. No imitation crab it around here. It was It was not, it was in a can, but it was fresh. It's not crab with a K. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, so my gosh. I suppose, why don't you, let's put a little, let's see, I'm going to put a little butter, and I, I'd only put a little bit of oil in the pan here. She has peanut oil in the pan because it has a higher smoking point. That's so it can get really hot. The flavor of butter is good, and so we're going to put some butter in it. And there's a cast iron pan here, and it's very hot now. So, so do you need a scoop? Oh, that would Do you good. want a scoop? Gadget woman. Yes. I already you. used my favorite gadget in the kitchen, one of my favorites, which is her zester oh, earlier. Do you want that one? That one? Yeah. Is that too small? Uh, do you want this kind? Kind of small. No, this okay. Is, that's a temp this one. Okay. Alright. Oh, Here's another idea on how to make them. Because we want to make them a uniform size uh -oh. so they all cook the same amount of time. So I think she's just taking a scoop and making a ball scoop. And then we're gonna flatten them down a little bit here. I'll flatten them with the with the spatula, but then at least they're all the same size. Oh, you know what? Hold on. We we're gonna do something else here. Oopsie. I forgot the last step, which was the, the breadcrumbs that I smashed up, they were going to go on the outside of this. So I think what I'm going to do is just, she's going to roll one in the breadcrumbs. Hands. So we're gonna, I'm going to roll them in the breadcrumbs. Let's see how these are. Oh my gosh. They look delicious and they smell delicious. <laughs> oh my goodness. So while you're doing that, I'm going to whip these. Because you're not talking. Because I won't have to talk over the mixer if I can help it. Do my Instagrammers. Okay. Dude, I wish I could see. Hi, Instagrammers, but I can't see your name. So thank you guys for watching. We're making a spiffed up sugar cookie with candy canes, and then we are making a yummy appetizer of real um, crab cakes with yummy little appetizers. See how quick and easy that was? Like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 minutes you have what people think is a fancy appetizer. But you mostly have everything in your cupboard that was in there. Yeah, I had everything except the crab ready right. to go. Yeah. Of course, my, my kitchen is pretty stocked and after can, 97 you shows. Can, you can improvise with, um, instead of the cream cheese, easily with mayo. There's all kinds of variations, so. So I'm going to put a little bit. This recipe, when you see me post it, has calls for peppermint e e extract. But I am going to be using almond, because that's just what, what, what we like. We prefer it. So I'm going to put a little bit of almond extract in this half a teaspoon. In here to give Since it a little. Since you know who's going to be eating these cookies. Yes. <laughs> All cookie maker. Yes. And yesterday was National Cookie Day. Yep. So. Cookie cookies. Last night too, should I show them? Oh, made some <laughs> yummy some delicious cookies, cookies that were. Um, kind of <laughs> we had to make cookies on National Cookie Day. So we made our family recipe, you know, from our cookie stores. We made the recipe, but I used these salted caramel truffles yeah. that I found mm -hmm. early on in COVID. Right. Oh my gosh, they are delicious. Because we love cookies around here. The yes, we do. The animal. The animal. Well, yeah, that happens. Nice. All right, that happens. Okay. Scrape this down again. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. 
Yummy, yummy, yummy. Never met a cookie we didn't like around here. Okay. I don't think I have any Old Bay. You know what? I was just thinking about a sauce for these. We wanted to make a crab cake sauce. I didn't think about this sooner than right now, but a little mayo, a little uh, sour cream, and some Old Bay. You have Old Bay? I know I don't have any, but Old Bay seasoning with a little um, sour cream and mayo, a little lemon, and oh, will that be yummy for yeah, a dipping sauce? Or I was thinking of that too. A little horseradish? Horseradish. I was In thinking it? horseradish, mayo. If you have any ketchup, that works. To, or a cocktail sauce that's like in your fridge for a while because you ate shrimp, you know, last month and still have the sauce in there. <laughs> uh, and a little mayo and a little sour cream would be a good, a good little accompaniment for these. Okay, okay. get my teaspoon of baking powder in my in my flour here and baking my cookie dough here in between. Oh my gosh, that yeah. looks yummy. Yeah. It smells delish. Mm -hmm. I need a plate to show those off. So I'm putting a okay. teaspoon of baking powder in my flour bowl. I've already measured here two and a half cups of flour in my bowl, measured already, and I need some salt. Uh, I just need a quarter of a teaspoon, so just a little, a little bit, a little zhuzh of salt. And then I'm gonna mix in my salt here, give my dry ingredients. So here we go. Dry ingredients all in. Sorry. Whoops, I'm making a cloud. Just for fun. Instagrammers, you can't see my mixer thing. Heavens. Because <laughs> I just dumped, I just dumped, dumped it all in. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so good. So I took my candy canes because I wanted to make these a little special. And we crushed them up. I emptied out my candy canes. Hold on. That dough is coming together beautifully. So we took our candy canes and we put them in a bag and crushed them up with the rolling pin. And uh, you can take out all your homeschooling frustration on your candy canes. And then I'm going to dump them in here okay. and voila. They're going in. And then voila. Okay. I'm going to mix those in. And then we will let this go refrigerate for a little while, but I will demonstrate how we are going to make these once we let the dough rest for like an hour in the fridge. Because we can't let it rest any longer than that. we got to make cookies! Oh my gosh. Okay. And I'm cooking mm -hmm. the crab cake here, and they're uh, getting pretty cold. Hold on. Everything got put away this morning, so here's my cookie sheet with the silpat. Okay, I think actually, your plate. I'm not done yet, but see. Hello. They're, they're getting there. Oh my gosh, they and smell they so great. yummy. Yummy, yummy. Hey, Florence, how are you? We are making crab cakes for a quick and easy appetizer, and we are making um, peppermint, peppermint sugar, sugar cookies. cookies. So our dough is ready to go. So I'm going to take my powdered sugar. Because to prepare these, I'm going to take a different scoop than the crab scoop. Because you probably don't want crab mixed with your sugar cookies. So here we go. I'm going to take a scoop of my cookie dough here. Oh my gosh. It smells so yummy. Roll it into a little ball. Roll it in the powdered sugar. And voila. We have our sugar cookie. Well, look at your pan. Uh, it even lines them up. Oh, whoops. Sugar uh, cookie. Now I could take a few um, peppermint crumbs and put them on the top if we want to to make them beautiful. But I use them all right now, so I can't show you that. But there we go. But I thought it would be a cute little different twist yeah. on sugar cookies, and everyone will be surprised when they taste them because they will be have the little Pepper. peppermints inside. Hey. So how about that? Yeah. So I'm thinking on this crab cake situation, the ones that I didn't put the the breadcrumbs on the outside are these, which are more, as you can see, more falling apart. So um, I think so. that the breadcrumbs, which is these two, definitely helped stabilize and made them a little bit more uniform. So. Well, they also got they also got browner. Also got brown quicker, even yeah. though I put them in second. So I think yeah. the breadcrumbs pull, is, pull one out is the key. So I want to taste one. Okay. Hey, yum. Hey, there's, is that our brother or our father? Hello, Airport. It's probably our brother. Hey, Susan, how are you? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a good idea. Kathy says put Red Hots on top of the of the cookies. That's a great, so that's a great idea. So let me taste, let me taste these, her okay. creation here. Yeah, me, huh? So this, yeah. Well, I think oh the my gosh. thing is, is much better. Let's taste this and see what you have to make them all together. Oh my god. Good. Delicious. Mm. Don't even need sauce. Mm. That's delicious. Oh, we need to make some sauce. Yeah. Hey, Ramsey, we have that to make delicious. you some of these. Or Florence, you're going to have to that make Ramsey like... these. And we just made this recipe up, and they're delicious. Yeah. The yeah. cream cheese, she put a little bit of cream cheese which in there, and oh my gosh, it adds. Gives just... them the creamy instead of mayo, which is more oily. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. That's oh, a yeah. Good, delicious. That's a good one. We'll post very good. Hey, Erin, how are you? So today, you know, we uh, like to reward our viewers. So we have a couple awesome giveaways today. If you have liked or commented um, on these videos on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate, please go and subscribe. We're almost to a thousand. Um, and we have our, um, all the shows there, all 97 shows are there. Um, and then we also have them here and on Instagram. So if you've liked or commented, you are in my drawing for our prizes today. And before we do that, we are going to do our birthday shout outs. So, hold on. We have our <laughs> birthday, we have two birthday shout out hats today. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Okay, look how cute we are. And look, they even have ears. Gosh, who's this? How made cute for? is that? Not Someone with a smaller head than us, I guess. I guess Santa's helper was, was smaller. <laughs> Santa's helper was We didn't try these on before we bought them. <laughs> okay, well, they're a little small. Oh, whoops. Oops. Oops. Okay. Birthday okay. shout outs. Where's my notes? Hold on. Well, the first one is to my sister. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Her birthday is Monday. We won't say how old she is. Her but she's, day. she's older than me. So her birthday is <laughs> Monday. And then we have um, uh, birthdays today. Holly Higby Jansen. Um, it's her birthday today. And Brooke Anglin Kennedy. It's your birthday today. And we know your mom was with you today um, and celebrating your birthday. And then Tuesday, Bethany Air. Happy birthday to you, dear. Hope you're doing something fun. And uh, those are our birthday shout outs today. How do you like our hats? Are we cute or what? I mean, look, they have ears. I show you the ears. I saw that. Oh my gosh. Oh, so cute. What did she say? Do we have to duck down? Because see, look. Oh, we're not they showing can see here. Us. There we are. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, on to our giveaway. In honor of National Cookie Day. Get the fish. The fish has still been ever since the I came here last time. It's still, it's still going. <laughs> I got these awesome peppermint chocolate chunk cookie mixes from Trader Joe's for our in honor of Cookie Day because we couldn't let it go by. And we actually have a couple give, uh, giveaways today, so we could either do two or we could do four. We're gonna do four. Okay, we're gonna do four today it's in it's honor of December. her birthday, and it's, it's giving, Christmas. Uh, it's give, give, giving see, uh, season, so we're gonna do four. And we're gonna do them quick. So the other gift I have, besides two cookie recipes, is these awesome things I had made. Check these out. These are black washcloths. They say makeup, of course, in pink, because I had them made. And my awesome friend, Rob Lemons, got these done overnight for me, because um, I wanted to have them today for, for the show. Um, we were in a hotel last week in Arizona, and they had these in the hotel. Uh, so you don't thrash the white towels in the hotel with your makeup. So or I thought it was... Yeah, on your own, but I thought it was so cool that I ordered them and Rob imported these for me overnight. So if you need um, screen printing or you need um, t-shirts, embroidery, signs, whatever you need, please call Rob Lemons at SBR Signs because he's the bomb and he made these. So we have two of these awesome black washcloths for your makeup washing of your face. So let's see who's first. Okay, I'm just, I don't know who any of these people are except myself, so... Cat Jones, winner, winner. Cat Jones, there's one for you, girl. And then we have Barbara Hinton, one for you. And then let's see if we need a couple more. Can we get in for the cookies? Okay. Oh, Joyce Derrickson, one for you. Is she local? Yep. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. One awesome, more. one for you. And then Heidi Whitcomb owns Ventura Rentals. Thank you, Heidi, for all the work you've done to help our restaurants stay in business. Please, please, please go downtown, get takeout, whatever the rules are going to be. Please support our small businesses, our small shops, our restaurants, um, because we really want them to be here next year. 
So support the small business and please get takeout. And thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. And remember to call a senior, send them a card, call, you make a phone call because some places can't visit. But we know there's so many people that are by themselves at this time. So um, take up a minute to reach out and just make a call to someone that you haven't talked to or someone that you know um, may, might be alone. And we appreciate you guys watching. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good attitude and always do your best. And enjoy this holiday season and make the most. Um, tomorrow is not guaranteed, so we are going to live today and enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching. We love being here. And we are on countdown to 100 episodes. Yay! And today was 97. So we are happy you guys are here. Hey, Laura, how are you? Thanks for jumping in. We made crab cakes today and peppermint <laughs> sugar cook cookies. So thank you guys for watching. Okay. Bye. I'll see you soon. Amen.